how to configure Gradle and Jenkins. You might have numerous applications that use Gradle as its build tool. That also means you may end up having to support many different versions of Gradle. In this video, I'm going to show you how to simply and easily make multiple versions of Gradle available for your Jenkins pipelines. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.332.2. And attached to this controller, I have a Linux-based agent that already has a specific version of Gradle installed on it. Now, when this controller was installed, it was installed using install suggested plugins. And one of those suggested plugins for Jenkins LTS is Gradle. So let's go ahead and verify that that plugin is already installed. So we'll go down to Manage Plugins. We'll go to Installed. And I'll type Gradle in the filter. And we can see that the Gradle plugin is already installed at version 1.38. So now that we've verified that our plugin for Gradle is installed, let's go over to Global Tool Configuration inside of Manage Jenkins. And we'll scroll down to Gradle and click on Add Gradle. Now for the first one, what we're going to do is we're just going to install from gradle.org. So we'll leave the default that's here. We're going to leave even the default version that's selected 7.4.2. And for my name, I'm going to select 7.4.2. Let's go ahead and click on Save. Now let's go back over and create a new job. We'll call it Gradle Pipeline. Click OK. I have a sample pipeline here. What I have is Pipeline Agent Label Linux. So the agent that's connected to this controller has a label of Linux. Then you'll notice that we have the Tools block, and we're specifying the tool of Gradle, and specifically 7.4.2. That's the name that we just gave that new installation. And then we have a stage that has a single step where we're running Gradle-version. So let's go ahead and click on Save, and then click on Build Now. So as the job's running, what we're going to see is since this tool has not been installed before, and it's automatically installing the version of Gradle that we specified, which happened to be version 7.4.2. It placed it into a directory within my agent. And then when we run Gradle-version, we now see Gradle 7.4.2. For this next configuration, what I want to do is I want to use the version of Gradle that was previously installed by Ansible on my agent. So let's go back over to our Manage Jenkins, Global Tool Configuration. We'll go back down to Gradle. This time, instead of saying Add Gradle, it now says Gradle Installations. I can either click Add Gradle here at the top or Add Gradle at the bottom. I'm going to select the bottom. Doesn't really matter. And I know that the version of Gradle that was previously installed by Ansible on the agent is version 6.9.2. But since it's already installed, I don't want to do an install automatically because it's already installed. I need to specify where it's installed on that agent. And in my case, it's installed at opt tools gradle gradle-692. So let's go ahead and click on save. And you'll notice here below the text box, it says opt tools gradle gradle 692 is not a directory on the Jenkins controller, but perhaps it exists on some agents. And in my case, I know that it's there on my agent because Ansible installed it for me. So let's go ahead and click on save. Let's go modify our job to point at that version 692. So configure. We'll change 7.4.2 to 6.9.2. Click on Save. Click on Build Now. And if we take a look at job number two, we don't see an installation because we didn't expect to have an installation because it's already installed. And if we take a look at Gradle version, we see that it's 6.9.2. For this last example, I want to show you how to specify a zip file or a tarball to do your own installation from your own servers. So let's go back over to Dashboard, Manage Jenkins, Global Tool Configurations. We'll click on Gradle Installations. Again, I'm going to scroll to the bottom, click on Add Gradle. And the version that I want to install this time is 5.6.4. I do want to do an install automatically, but I don't want to do an install automatically from gradle.org. I'm going to delete this installer. I'm going to add an installer. And we're going to say Extract Zip or TarGZ. The label for this is the label of the agent that you want it installed on. In my case, the label is Linux. When we tab out of it, it says label Linux matches one node. So that's good. At least it's able to find that agent. The download URL for the binary archive could be anywhere. It just needs to be unauthenticated. So I'm going to paste in the 564 location that happens to be on the gradle.org site. It doesn't have to be on the gradle.org site. It could be on a server that you have locally. What this specific installation type gives you 
is the ability to specify the exact binary that you want to install from whatever server you want to install from. And finally, the subdirectory of the extracted archive. I've already extracted the 564 zip file before, so I know once it extracts, it has a directory in it that's at the root that's Gradle-5.6.4. So I need to specify that in order for this to work. Let's go ahead and click on Save. Let's go back over to our dashboard, modify our job one more time, click on Configure. We'll change this to 5.6.4, and then let's click on Build Now. And what you'll see as this is running, it looks similar to the very first run to where we specified 742, just because it's downloading from the same place, but this location could have been anywhere that I could have downloaded a file from. It downloaded the file, extracted it into the same location within the tools directory on my agent. And then when we run Gradle version, we now see that we have Gradle 5.6.4. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.